Hello everyone, in my previous video I have covered how to set up a microservices project and to Eclipse using ChatGPT. How quickly you can take instructions from ChatGPT and uh, set up your um, project in uh, Eclipse. It is so quick to set up any project with the help of ChatGPT. A developer can focus, just focus on the development phase of the project with only because of this new revolutionary tool right so you can uh, just to give a quick app uh, you can ask it you can ask questions from it you can ask uh, uh, can take instructions from it like how to create a spring boot application using spring initializer it will you it will give you steps and you can follow those steps right then you can also ask it how uh, how to import a spring boot project into eclipse ide so it will give you step by step instructions and that you just need to follow right and that's it so within five minutes your spring boot project is uh, imported and ready to use so it, it is this is a very helpful thing for a new programmer or new developer who is uh, not that much aware of uh, spring boot for more details you can go to chat gpt for microservices development part one video that i have covered few days ago um, here I have um, explained in detail how you can set up a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer in Eclipse IDE with the help of ChatGPT. Please click on the link uh, above link uh, to know more details. Okay, so, so let's get started with today's video. Welcome to my channel once again. Uh, in this video, in this current video, I will show you how to uh, write your microservices application within a few minutes using, using ChatGPT and how it can save your time okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel to support me and please like share and comment this video if you like it okay so let's without let's get started without any delay as I have already informed you that you should have a clear vision of what you want to achieve from ChatGPT. okay it can help you in achieving your targets in a positive direction only if, only if you know what you want it want from it okay so let's get started with the demo so here in this demo we will see how can we quickly write a spring boot applica uh, microservices application using chat gpt uh, while setting up a project we have set up this account project in uh, eclipse account spring boot project in eclipse ide all the steps uh, had been taken from chat gpt so here is a for package that is com chat gpt dot account so inside this i'm creating a new package um, for controller class that is com chat gpt account dot controller i will also create one more package that is uh, for bean class that's account dot java so first of all we'll create a uh, empty class here and then we will take help from chat gpt for writing its code okay so here we have a see okay so here we have a bean package and controller package inside that we will create a bean class that is account.java right and under controller will create a empty rest controller that is account controller dot java so here we are asking now we are taking help from chat gpt for writing a model class or bean class this is account dot java using the fields we are giving it uh, more information about the fields that we want in our bean class that is id name email balance okay so here now it is uh, writing a code for us for account class okay so it is using all the fields that we have asked it to include in the in, in it right so it has written all the getters and setters to string for the uh, f with the fields that we want and it has given some inst information also about the class so we'll just copy the code and paste it inside our bean class that is account.java right and then save see the prompts uh, matters a lot so we have to give it an exact prompt that we want it to do so we'll now look at the prompt that we are writing right a rest controller account controller dot java with static list of account <coughs> using account dot java model class right 
so why are we giving this uh, prompt okay we are giving this prompt like write a rest controller account controller java with static class of accounts using above account model because because we want this rest controller to work using this bean class right now since it's um informatory code we are not uh, using we are not making any database calls okay we are not storing our objects in the database so this is just a so this is just a bean class so retrieve um while running our microservices application okay so that's why we have given uh, we have written a prompt that we want a rest controller acc uh, named account controller of java that can uh, that will you will make a static list of account model class okay so here is the code so it is writing a um, getter post mapping put mapping right it's intelligent enough it knows that rest controller has to do all the task so it is giving all the using all the annotations that is required so here it is explaining the code also right so it is uh, telling you what is the meaning of get mapping what is the meaning of post mapping what is the meaning of uh, uh, delete mapping and put mapping right so here is the account controller dot java that we will just copy paste from here and copy it from here and paste it in the eclipse okay so we copied the code and now we're just pasting it we'll organize the imports to remove all the errors right so it is ready now now you can see see now this code does not have any error it is ready to execute uh, we hope that it works fine right so you can see here it has get mapping it will retrieve accounts based on the id post mapping it is uh, to add new accounts in the account list static account list put mapping is to update an existing account based on the id right and delete mapping to delete any account based on the id so right now as you can see um, uh, we have two accounts here one and two account one is john roy and two is jane smith now what we will do i will show you uh, a running microservices application and we will try to retrieve the list of this account we will try to add a new account in here we will try to update the existing account number and we will try to delete it also okay with the help okay so our code is ready our chat gpt task is done if you want more instruction from chat gpt like how to execute this application in eclipse and um, how to execute put calls or um, uh, post calls so that you can do with the help of chat gpt but your prompt should be very clear okay so let's see further so here we are running our application so this account application is running it is saying that your tomcat has been started and a started application also right and there is no problem right now as so far so good okay so we are ready to see our running application it so Tomcat has started without any problem on the port of 8080 and our account application is also running so let's move further and uh, open a browser so here in the browser we are typing localhost 8080 accounts so this request is going to the method that has get mapping annotation okay because we are retrieving all of the accounts that are there in the account static list so here first one is the John Doy second ID is for Jane Smith so right now we have only two accounts in the list so we are retrieving both of them right now what we want to do we want to add a new account in the list so for adding a new account in the list we will we will use postman agent okay because right now we don't have any other microservices we don't have any other way to um, do that post call right so we'll do that post call with the help of postman so here it is showing you uh, <laughs> Yeah, I also want to show you that we can retrieve single ID data also. 
So the get mapping next is uh, post mapping. Okay, so here this is a postman tool. Okay, um, so in this browser we will select HTTP request as post. In the request URI, we will type the URL. There is localhost 8080 accounts. In that, we want to add a new account, right? And in the body, we will give the body of um, request uh, that we want to add, right? So, let's see. So, this body is in JSON format, right? We are So, here we are giving URL of uh, selecting text as JSON and the body we are copying existing output okay and we'll change it with ID and name as uh, my tech notes email also will change it to my tech notes and change the balance and then we'll do submit it on the URL okay so sending the request so it is telling us 200 oh, okay so that means uh, request is uh, successful so we have successfully added one more id in the list that is um, three my tech nodes my tech nodes so we now we have three accounts in the list okay so that's how we are able to add a new request in it now we are show you okay here also we are trying to see all the three accounts in the list okay one two three Okay, next is update. So for update, we'll take the HTTP as put. In the body, we'll write, uh, we'll take the request uh, JSON uh, body of the output that we want to update. So if we want to update name of Jane Smith, Jane Smith updated and balance executed. Okay, we are we want to change ID to okay 200. Okay, man is executed successfully so request is successful we are uh, so here is the get request so in get we are seeing that account name has been updated successfully so we are able to execute our put request successfully so now last one is the delete so here we will show you how to delete it so if you want to delete any account like account 2 we want to delete so just send it it's done right so here we can't see any we can see we can't see any other ID that is ID 2 so it has been successfully deleted so now we are left with only two IDs that is 1 and 3 3 that has been added with the help of post request as a new account 2 was updated and we have deleted it also so we can't see it now if you want it then you can add it back so that's it so now you can see that how quickly we have created a microservices application with the help of chat GPT we don't have to do any coding we just need to give it a right prompt so that it can give you exact result that you wanted right so that's how it is um, that's why it is a very very revolutionary and useful tool for a new developer so with this video you must have got an idea of how to build a project using chat gpt you, that you should give clear prompts to get the correct answers if it doesn't respond as per your wish you can change your uh, prompt and try it again that's it thanks for watching this video till the end please like share and subscribe to my channel to get notification of more new videos like this thanks a lot